So I'm going to start an Andy Warhol inspired flower picture today. You need a few different greens for this and I'm basically just going to fill this entire sheet with green. It's going to be a few step process. Um, I'm going to use a few different greens and you can blend them by putting colours over the top. It's going to look great later on. Right now, not so fabulous, but worth the effort. No real order to how you colour it in. You can just do patches. It will all work out okay in the end. We don't need to go too far to the edge. Leave it a bit of a space if that helps keep your table a bit cleaner. I've just grabbed some old pastels here so they're a bit dirty and it doesn't really matter for this that they're not pristine clean colours. Time for a wash up. I've left a little board around the edge uh, because I want that to remain black when we do the next layer. Okay, I'm going to be right back with the next part of this project. So now the next stage of making our Andy Warhol inspired flowers. I've got some acrylic black paint here and I'm going to put it into a tub because I want to mix something else in with it. I'm not going to need a lot for this project. I'm just going to put in as much as I'm going to use. And I'm going to put in a squirt of washing up liquid or detergent. You might be thinking, why can't I just use green paper for this? The reason is that when we get to the next step, you won't be able to scratch back into it to get the same effect. So now I'm just going to coat my whole page. And you can see now this is where that edge is going to be staying black, which will give us a nice border on our artwork. I put plastic on my table so it doesn't matter if I go over the edges. So I'm doing a good coverage, there's no gaps. And I just put in a squirt or two of detergent, probably one because I didn't really have that much paint, uh, and mixed it in. And this will make it really easy to scratch off the paint. So you're really making your own scratch paper. I guess if you had a really good budget at your school, you could buy it. Um, but I find this is a really great way and inexpensive to make your own. And also we want it to all be green. Okay, just finish that up. All right, and get rid of some of the obvious paint lines if it's a bit thick. You want to be able to not see the green underneath anywhere and let that dry. All right, and I'll be back with the next step. So I've got my Andy Warhol printout of his artwork here. Slightly different printmaking process. And I've got an old paintbrush. You could also use a wooden skewer. Anything like that would do this really well. The end of a, a pencil perhaps or um, yeah, old paintbrush that's lost its end or the end of a paintbrush. Good to get some different thicknesses of line. So I'm just going to scratch into this to get my grass effect down here. I'm doing some nice fine small lines here. We've got a border on ours where we didn't put the uh, green oil pastel. So I'm wanting to get some darker thicker lines so what I can do there is turn around so I've got a broader end on my um, paintbrush to get some really wide deeper lines. I could also use another type of tool um, you know, the end of a pencil I've got here is a bit broader. So I'm wanting to get some like this. So look at all the different shapes that he has, you know, within his artwork. So you can see when you're using that edge, you get a much more broader stroke. And you can see now how the different colours are coming out. So we are going to be putting the flowers on top later on. And that will cover some of our grass marks. So you can put them in a few different angles. So over here we might do some more fine ones. You can see a variety of strokes that are fine, some thicker and broader. 
And we wanted to get that look so it's sort of some falling over, so it's looking like grass. Okay, so you can see a lot of uh, scrapings here, so I'm going to go and put them into the rubbish and that'll leave my page nice and clear and ready for the next part. So now we're ready for the final part of our Andy Warhol inspired flowers. So we've got our background with our scratched off grass and now I've got some Brennick squares. So these come in some really bright colors. I like that they're shiny. You could also use just plain old photocopy paper. Either would be fine. So I'm gonna turn them over to the back and draw some flowers on there. So these are big daisy-like flowers. I've got a couple of smaller pieces. Good to have a variety of sizes. Andy's flowers are, are pretty random, as in not beautifully cut out and made. So I can actually cut these two together. These are quite similar. I'm going to stop there so I make this one a little bit different. I'm just going to cut some of these petals just down a little bit smaller so that I'm getting some variation without having to cut out the whole thing. Put all those scraps in the recycling. Now I'm just going to get a glue stick and glue these down. So I'm just going to use a glue stick, put it onto the back of these. Oops. I only need to do around the edges. And put them in position, press them down flat. Okay, so I'm just pressing them down firmly. And now I'm going to use going to use a sharpie marker just to put in the centers of the flowers so you can just put in some little stamens there's some little lines showing the center of the flowers you can even just do them like this and there you have it our Andy Warhol inspired flowers <laughs>